What's up guys, Eric Vasquez here from teachmetodesign.com. If you've ever been asked to create a suite of ads or web banners for a client, well, you'll know that it can be pretty tricky, especially if you have to make changes to say 10 different Photoshop files. But today I'm gonna to show you guys a better way to do this using the Artboards feature in Photoshop. Now, what this is going to allow us to do is to set up a bunch of different ads all in one document, and I'm gonna show you how you can use them in conjunction with smart objects to help you design better. All right guys, so today I'd like to show you a cool feature in Photoshop that was added in CC 2015, um, but it's something that I'm not sure if a lot of people use, but that is the artboard feature. All right, so what I'd like to do here is just create a document and we're gonna make it web size, so 72 uh, for the resolution is fine. And let's just go ahead and create our document. Now, as soon as this is created, you'll see it's a pretty you know, recognizable and familiar looking interface, but if I come over here to my move tool and click and hold down, you'll see that I have something called the artboard tool. It basically allows you to create multiple canvases in different sizes. So if I come up here to this drop down, you'll see that you have all these different sizes that you can use. These are kind of presets, but you also have the ability to create your own. So in here, I've typed in 300 by 250, and I'm just going to click on this plus sign here to add a new artboard. Let's just go ahead and create one right here. Okay, and now we have our first artboard, which is 300 by 250. So let me just rename that and specify the size. And if I wanted to, you can click this other button here to change the orientation. So you can go between a landscape and a portrait and just kind of flip it basically. We're gonna come in here and now we're going to click to make another artboard. But let's change the dimensions of this one to say 300 by 600. Okay, so now we have a tall artboard, and I'll call that 300 by 600. And we're going to make a third artboard right on top, and we'll change that one to say 728 by 90. Just going to rename this one, just like we did our others. And you can move these around however you want. I like to kind of set them up in a way that, you know, just kind of looks nice and get everything laid out. All right, but what we can do from here is, you know, say we wanted to create a suite of ads, right? I'm gonna make a new layer and let's just go ahead and, and fill it with like a red, like a dark red color. Okay, and I'm gonna throw it into my 728 by 90 folder. And what I wanna do next is actually open up a texture that I took a shot of on the street the other day. And I'm gonna add this into my document. All right, I'm gonna hold down the control key and click on the layer to make it a smart object. And I'll just call this layer texture and call it this layer one BG. And now if I select my texture layer and press command T, I can do a free transform and just scale it down a bit while holding the shift and alt keys at the same time. Now with the texture layer, I'm gonna press the shift key and then the plus key so that I can change the blending mode of it to darken, right? Something like that. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is grab my BG layer and click and also convert that to a smart object. And then add one more layer here. And let's just go ahead and draw out a button. Say we had, you know, some kind of call to action or something like that in here. Um, I'll just make a basic quick button right here, something pretty easy. Let's just go ahead and use a nice clean font like Gotham. I'm just going to shrink this down, maybe make the text some red color from the background. Okay, and then I'm just going to shrink this down a bit so that it fits nicely in our button. Okay, so there you go. Now I'm going to select both of those layers by holding down the shift key and clicking, converting them to a smart object. And we'll just call it button. And now we'll create one last layer. Uh, let's see, holiday sale, because it is the holidays. So plenty of sales going on. Spread some holiday cheer, all that good stuff. Okay, but this is just kind of a, you know, a demonstration. So I'm just kind of quickly mocking up a couple of ads here so I can show you guys uh, how useful 
uh, art boards can be, especially if you're doing you know, a web campaign or having multiple iterations. Okay, so let's just add a, a drop shadow uh, to our text here. All right, just a little bit, something like that. Maybe lower the opacity a bit. Okay, nothing crazy. And then when you're done, also convert this text into a smart object as well. And now what we're going to do is just space this out a little bit. We're going to give some breathing room to our button. All right, and now we've created our first size add, the 728 by 90. So what I'm going to do now is select all four of these layers and press Command J to make a copy of them. And I'm just going to click and drag them into the 300 by 600 folder. And now when I come into this artboard, you'll see that I have all of these same uh, layers that we had before. We have our button, which I need to bring back into the artboard over here. Okay, and this one is off to the side, so I'm just going to move this back into the right artboard. There we go. And let's scale it up a bit. And I'm also going to reposition my texture because that got a little bit uh, shifted there. Okay. And now we also have our holiday sale text. So in order to get that in there, I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit, make a copy of it, and just move it over. Okay, and then I'm just going to drag a rectangle around it and put a layer mask on it. And then we can move our button down like this. Okay, so from here, you know, we're not using the whole space, but that's okay. I'm just kind of doing this to again, to demonstrate for you guys how this works. Um, so let me just kind of fade out the bottom here. So maybe we just have, you know, something down here on the bottom. You can really make it anything you want, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna have a simple fade like that. And then I'm gonna come back into my 728 by 90. Once again, grab all of these layers and drag them into our 300 by 250. And when I expand this folder, you'll see once again, I have all of these same layers that we were using before. Okay, so I may need to bring my button back over here. I'm just going to place it on the bottom. Take my holiday sale text. Okay, like this. Make a copy of it. Move it down. Just so I can get it, you know, centered quickly. There's probably a better way to, to do that, but I'm just kind of doing this really quick to show you guys how this works. So now that we have all three of our ads laid out, Say we want to make a change, like if we wanted to change the information on this button. Well, normally, if we had separate Photoshop files, we would have to go into each one, update it, save it, and output it. But with artboards, and by making it a smart object, you can just double click on it. And let's make some adjustments here. All right, if I change the color, maybe I can make it like a yellowish color, you know, which is probably going to look awesome. All right, and I'll make it red. Okay, and then if I save that, it's now updated that button in all three instances, all right, which is pretty cool. Also, if I wanted to double click on the background layer, I could come in here and change that color to like a really bright red, save it, and then just close that tab. And the same thing with our text, you know, by using smart objects, you can update multiple instances at the same time simultaneously. Um, so that is a great way and a great time saver, especially if you, you know, had 10 or even more images like that that you were working on in here. And it's nice also because you can see them all together. Okay, but once you're finished with your, your images or your ads and you want to save them, all you have to do is hold down the shift key and select all the layers that you want to save. Come up here to the top right and choose this hamburger menu and then choose export as. Now, You'll be prompted with this dialog box here, and you should see all of your images over on the left-hand side in this column. Now, once this is here, you have options to actually output, you know, a quarter of the size, half the size, even double and triple, along with some other options. Okay, and over here under the file settings, you have a few different formats. You can choose from JPEG, PNG, GIF, or SVG. And all you have to do now is choose export all, and it's going to ask you where you want to save your files. So it's going to be very easy for us to just save these onto our desktop, and then we will have all of our images there. All right, so that is a quick way to just export multiple images 
um, how to use smart objects and artboards together um, to really speed up your workflow and make things a lot easier on yourself. So I just wanted to show you guys that feature and how to use them because it is kind of a nice addition to Photoshop. And again, for people who are you know familiar with Illustrator, um, this should be already relatively familiar to you guys. But um, for anyone else who just spends more time in Photoshop, this can be a handy feature for you guys as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it to be helpful. Uh, if so, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And be sure to sign up for our email list, guys. We've got some great new stuff coming out soon in 2017. And happy holidays, guys. Hope everyone has a great uh, holiday season and a happy new year. And we'll see you next time.